once again, all you wonderful lovelies, to Zaya Gorilla Sun, aka Lynn, and allow me to welcome you back to another episode of Monster Prom. As we have done in the previous episode, we are going down the road of boy outcomes before we hit up our girls. And we managed to take our buddy boy, Dead Man, to prom. So we'll go. We'll go ghosty. First, we must, of course, have our name. S sure thing. Ha, Oz. You're adorably shy. And stats don't really matter. We'll just be... Whatever's here. So creative. D -d -d Damien, because he's the bomb. All right. Okay, we have five money. Should be enough for the bitch. Hoping to find an extra dollar when suddenly... Bro! Hey, Lynn! Look, look here! Look what I have! Isn't it shiny? Oh yeah, uh, this is part of the... Uh, Punch the fucking Sun Summer update. All the characters have these cool summer outfits now. It's awesome! Oh god, Scott, you and that roll of duct tape. Uh, I almost don't want to do it for it because we've just done it so many times. Uh, Scott holds him off the road with blue duct tape and blah blah blah. Ish. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying we tried uh, tied up Crazy Martin the Werebear Janitor. I'm just saying this tape is crazy strong. And if you wanted to wreak some havoc on the school, Crazy Martin might be a little tied up. Thank the goddess we've spent months tracking that. <laughs> our thingy? It's so cool, right? We have a thing, and it's our thingy, and it's the best thing, in, and it's of ours. We must save, save the world. world. You fools, that duct tape. of That's the duct tape of retribution. It's only adhesive that can hold Balthazar to the destroyer, whom we must detain in order to save the world. Oh, well, saving the world is good. I just like it because it was cool, shiny thing. Who can have it? <sighs> no. Scott, they're probably just making that shit up because they want our cool thing for the cool thing from us, man. Balthazar the Destroyer? Obviously fake. Why would I have never heard of him before? We had a three hour long lecture on Balthazar the Destroyer in homeroom yesterday. You're right, Damien, they must be lying. I think I would have remembered that. Always the same with you. You were at sports practice and Damien was asleep at his desk. After we heard about the threat Balthazar posed, we took it upon ourselves to journey deep into the dungeons of Helios Ma to bring back the holy duct tape of retribution, only to discover it was already gone. Oh, the dungeon of Helios Ma. That's, that's where we got it. We took a wrong turn on our way to the English curses and totally got lost. Somehow we were in some kind of maze. Anyway, we saw this stick of tape and thought we might as well take it. Now it's fucking ours. You can't have it. Try not to get killed soon. Uh, could you be any more oblivious? Hand over the tape, or we'll be forced to use force to take it. By force. Yikes, looks like the situation is out of control. Take an answer. The scotch tape of hey, cut that out? Who makes things up? Of all the ridiculous, stupid, far-fetched... Hey, you know, the article actually says the scotch tape is hey, cut that out. Totally, absolutely exists and actually three times as powerful as the duct tape in retribution. Impressive. Who would have thought? I feel like a mundane situation duct tape tends to be stronger than scotch tape. But I guess everything goes out of the window when magic gets involved. Normally, I wouldn't bother to go off on a quest uh, for something. 
thing when I could just get an object that serves the same purpose by hexing a few idiots. We're out. But we don't make a goal of our... Uh, we do make a goal of ours to never cut corners, so if the scotch tape of... Heck, scotch tape of hey, cut that out is the best at artifact to the feet bosses are, let's track that down. Uh, what? So... What just happened? Lynn absolutely 100% made up a magic artifact name that just happened to be real, so now the coven is searching for that instead. You know, typical Monday. So, do we keep the shiny thing? Yes, Scott. We get to keep the shiny thing. Hooray! Awesome! Brad! Nicely done, Lynn. I like how you lied to get what you wanted. That's hot. Damien called you hot. Hooray indeed! You get two smarts, one fun, as well as Scott and Damien's admiration and appreciation. Random shiny tape. All right. And you, lovely kitty. Yeah. Took a hell of a lot of grinding, but I finally got every item currently in the game that I'm aware of. Got you. Oh, we only needed the five dollars. Eh. Easy one, but I'm always amazed at how people keep coming uh, and buying all the stupid crap. Intriguing! And now, I will be perfectly right. blended in as the superior, sneaky, stealth like ghosty ghoul. No one will suspect a thing! That day, while rehearsing for class, metaphorical figurative blowjob. Whoa, that was a different line! Uh, your performance is intense and inspiring. I guess they do alternate between, like, the male and female dialogue there. Was not suspecting that, mainly because I've plowed through these so many times in super fast mode to get through it. Yikes! You notice Damien and Liam arguing as intensely as they are stupidly. Ah! You are not new ye- ah. <laughs> I already fucked it up. You are not unique! I'm fucking unique! <laughs> huh, you wish. I'm unique like a snowflake made of flash frozen tear. <sighs> well, I'm unique like a snowflake made of flash frozen fuck you! <sighs> I'm so unique, I eat garlic with every meal. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. I'm so unique, I got a tattoo of the baby Jesus on my ass. <laughs> Yawn. I'm so unique, I let my victims suck my blood. Wouldn't that turn them into vampires? Or does that not count in this game? Weak. I'm so unique, I go to church every Sunday. <sighs> hey, I do that stuff too. If I, I'd do that if I wasn't allergic. I'm not bullshitting. Would not. What to? What a new. Bite me, Alutard. <sighs> Don't Lame. tempt me, Mephistopheloser. This could go on forever. What will I choose? Dun dun dun. It don't matter. But I like Damien more. Fucking metal. But apparently I chose wrong based on stats. So the more you know. Fine. Damien and Liam go tomb robbing. It's going to end poorly. Both come back horribly cursed. Thanks to you, every song I listen to now sounds like Rick Ashley is never going to give you up. Ah, you're forever Rick Rolled. G and that fucking mummy turned my sick hog into a goddamn tricycle. You can get another one, Damien. <sighs> you know, Damien, we may not agree on much. But I think we agree on one thing. <laughs> this little shit has got to pay. But I still got points with Damien because logic. And I lost a boldness and fun. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Boldness is really low. Creative is high. Uh, Let's go for bold. It's too low of a stat. Then we'll go for fun. 
that day you skipped class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits and gain two boldness. Spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test your new blanket, ghosty goodness. You wear it as if you were a goofy ghost and approach them as a spooky boo while Miranda is explaining something to Scott. And that is why those treacherous air people are the absolute worst. And also, most likely tried, uh, tied to the disappearance of Mars Algo. Or Argo. <gasps> oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? <laughs> What are you talking- Oh, shit! I didn't see you there! So ghostly! You guys are joking, right? This is clearly just Lynn wearing a blanket with eye holes cut into it. Love the sun hat. And again, they gave him the, the dots on the arm. Will developers ever tell me why? Probably not. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become an addict. Yeah, Liam. You don't see anyone saying, Oh, Liam is really just Lynn wearing a blanket with eye holes cut into it. Exactly, Liam. Even despite the many times we suspected it was so. What? Oh, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. My bad. That's true. Tell us, do you have cool ghost powers? Oh yes! Divulge! Divulge! Let's see. One involves fun, and one involves smarts. My fun is shitty, so we're gonna go with smarts. You use your ghostly hands to grab your phone, and you start waving it in front of them. Ooh, spooky! Oh, look, it's making that phone totally levitate! Total ghost move! Grabbing it with his hands. No, but see, the phone is moving in a very spooky way, which means it is clearly levitating, Liam, you dork. It can literally do the same with your hands. No way. Let me check. <gasps> it's true, Miranda. Look! Scott is moving his phone with his hands. Miranda starts doing the same. What sort of sorcery is this? Suddenly we all can levitate our phones! Well, clearly this isn't a ghost, and this is happening because plot reasons. It's a cliche. Because the ghost is sharing its ghost powers with us, Liam! Oh my god! What a generous ghost! You can learn a thing or two from this ghost, Liam. It can't recall you sharing- I can't recall you sharing your vampires with- powers with us. Okay. I'm out. Fuck you. Liam leaves and you spend several hours moving your phone with your hands while booing. Gain two fun and one charm. And again, those two are the most dunderheads in this whole school. All right. I'm not sure about the wolf pack. They actually seem to have their shit together. But, eh. Let's bother Coach. Because Lord knows Coach isn't weird. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. Hi, my beloved student. Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Milk? That's it? That's hardly a drink at all. <laughs> Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And what would be? And what would we be without backbones? I don't know. Squid? Octopi? other sort of invertebrates. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. But enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have super uh, sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? Hmm. Not really sure. Uh, either way, I'll get stats. Whiskey's probably the boldness, so... Eh, we'll go with both. See if that gives me double chunk. Stuff on anything else. Both? 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 What a bold choice! Especially considering 
that these two liquids combine create another highly explosive liquid. But you know what they say, you can't make an omelette without drinking a few explosives. Good job! Bottoms up! You grab two bottles from coach and squirt them into your mouth. Cowabunga! Luckily, your stomach is rated as a class 5 atomic bomb shelter for some reason, so you avoid any negative consequences. When your classmates see that you are literally willing to drink a bomb for no reason, though they ceremoni uh, they ceremonially award you four bonus points. Ah. So what would the whiskey have been? Because I thought whiskey would have been bold. Were both options bold? All right. Is my world a lie? Is the cake still real? That day during recess, during a half hour rev, goes full cray cray, you can do fun, stats are looking awesome apart from money, you're chilling out, not murdering anybody when Damien speaks up to you. Holding a large sack with the words, definitely not a corpse written on it. Totally a corpse. Hey, noob. Hey, um, you're not gonna believe this, but there's definitely a corpse in this bag never would have guessed. Now, the thing, here's the thing, uh, I'm not saying I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. It's not that I'm a lawyer person. <laughs> but let's just say he and I apparently have a very different definitions of rock, paper, and scissors. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail tonight. I have a thing. So I need you to help me hide this body real quick. It would be an extremely attractive thing to do. Not flaunt in my package. Let's see if we can do the smart or the bold. And currently bold is the higher option. You throw the corpse in the back of Damien's dread chariot and hoof it over to your garage. Holy hell, are all these yours? Some of these are total classics. Elvis Presley, Amelia Earhart. Fuck yeah, three popes in here. I spent all this time trying to be a great murderer. Fucking metal! The greatest murderer of all was right next to me the entire time! Damien lovingly lays his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items and looks at you in awe. Joke's on him, you're actually just a really accomplished grave robber. But it's not like I don't get the stats for being awesome. Alright! more fun. That way we'll have straight nines and a ten. You're casually chatting with Juan the small magical Latino cat, who sounds awesome and I wish they actually had him illustrated, because I kind of picture a cat with his whiskers curled into a mustache. Is that racist? It's probably a little bit racist. Damn. You turn Then you realize you're feeling like going full ghost with your blanket again. Ooh. You're observing your surroundings when you spot Miranda and Damien. You're about to get closer when suddenly... Greetings, my loves. Son of a bitch. Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. It is I, the interdimensional prince. Once more, I have come here to woo you with a bunch of horrible lies that make me look good. I, they kind of made him look like James from Pokemon to me, just because of the blue hair, the way he's standing, and uh, the rose. That's kind of like James' thing. Is that just me? I think it's just me. I'm here to rescue you from your mundane existence. Just sign this marriage paper, and I will whisk you away to a life of mundane marriage, which may or may not end into interdimensional divorce. I get all your shit, though, because royalty bitches. <sighs> not this guy again. Look! Whoa. Gasp! An underworld specter! This again. Really? Why am I even here? What plot has me here being this asshole in this? What again, Liam? This is clearly a kick-ass powerful ghost! Look at its face! So deadpan! No expression at all! I bet, like, Polly's really pissed off at that. That's because it's not a face, it's a sheet with two 
eye holes cut into it. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut into it. That'd be fucking metal. Technically, you already do, but that's not the point. No, listen, it's not a face, it's... Ghost friend, help us save us from this interdimensional creep. Yeah, do something, something ghostly. Let's see my options here. Alright. Boo is, is bold. I know one of these are creative and one of them is boldness, but I don't think it. I'm not sure either one matters considering my stats are the same. Uh, since my first choice sucked last time, I got better stats. So we're going to go with this. Whoa! Did you see that? Real goosebumps! This fucker doesn't fuck around! My apologies, beautiful high schoolers! What exactly is Boo? We don't have that many ghosts in my realm. It is super spooky ghosting. You should run for your life, like for real. Yeah, interdimensional loser. It's like a super legit ghost thing. This ghost is probably about to unleash its ghostly rage upon you. It's gonna go fucking metal because we're ready for a hundred years of misery. He just said boo. Can you stop all this stupidity? Why am I reading this script? I'm not getting paid enough for this. What? How many followers are gonna hit me on Twitter? Liam has a point, yet fierce Damien and wonderful Miranda show such energy in their affirmations that I cannot help but believe them. Damn my cliché. Very vocal energy is in my main criteria when following my various advisors' advice. Shit. My only weakness. So today I shall retreat to my dimension. But fear not, my beloved high schoolers. The interdimensional prince will be back for you. I swear. Horny vengeance! I mean... Goodbye! <laughs> and so he disappears into the annoying portal. So, metal ghost, ghost person, you made him retreat, like, with a single boo. What a bitch. So brave. I might even reward you by not... Blowing up the school. Because I'm the genocidal mermaid, remember? And I hate air people. He retreated because of what you two idiots told him. He said so, in fact, in front of you just a minute ago. Seriously, guys, how many followers am I getting? Because I think we should double that number. Okay. And on Instagram. Liam, you really sometimes... I wish your face was a sheet with two holes cut into it, so that way you couldn't say annoying shit 24-7. Whatever. Little ghost friends save the day again! Huzzah! They leave, running and screaming about how cool you are. What the fuck what is with your classmates, really? Two boldness, one charm! Oh, and I found out drinking whiskey will give me fun. So... All right. That's a thing. But now, we shall bother the interdimensional prince who apparently goes to this high school. You're just trying to enjoy a meal when space untwists itself to reveal the interdimensional prince. Greetings, my love. My most glorious hero. Thank the squid star I found you. I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days, nay weeks. The riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. It, the interface is the most treacherous than my palace labyrinth. I honestly have no clue. I did not read the manual. I have servants for this. Seriously. Who the frick does that? For real? You grab the prince's phone, change his ring to butt butt butts, all about them butts by the booty boys. My hero, what seems 
difficult to me is trivial to you. My god, is there something I can't even do? And I'm the interdimensional prince. Then again, I have tried and failed numerous marriage attempts at this school. Win some, lose some. And you have even guessed which ringtone I desired most. You sexy thing, you. A true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There is only one way I can repay you. By maybe asking for your hand in marriage. Maybe some dinner later. But first, uh, I, I shall reward you by bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. Because I am cool like that. Wing, wing, nudge, nudge. I can do that. I'm the prince of another dimension, and I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about, because they haven't fully worked out my character enough for dating yet. Check DLC later. All kinds of crazy things beside you is found apparently, and he really only gives you two superpower options. Telepathy, which probably gives you smarts, and an ass that won't quit, which probably gives me charm. This is a serious one indeed. Ooh, difficult choices. For hilarity speaking, because I am a ghost in a sheet, an ass that won't quit. Ah yes, the Troy, uh, the choice of a true gentle monster. And somebody I may or may not ask out later. <laughs> With a wave of his magic wang. See, he totally is into me. The prince imbues your ass with boundless work ethic. The twerking will be undescribable throughout history. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. Because seriously, one of them is Slenderman and there's a giant spider for a principal. But by night, it does your homework for you. Which I don't want to read or touch or smell that pencil. That is that is just gross imagery that I'm thinking about right now. All that work makes your buns super tight. You gain plus four charm. No one will resist my ghostly buns of steel now. <laughs> All right. There's no skeleton in here. Damn it. Ooh, that needs to be DLC. Dateable skeleton. How did they not think of that? Undertale is so popular for, like, all the skeletal fan art. It's a thing, people. Do not be ashamed! Gain two smarts. Let's see. Partway through class, you break up into groups. You notice Damien by himself at his desk, thinking hard. Uh-oh. That's never a good idea. Damien, thinking hard, in class, you ask him, what's up, bro? It's just this stupid writing assignment. I'm supposed to write two pages uh, on a destructive tool that's better than fire. Better than fire? What's better than fire? Fire's my thing. My whole brand. Fucking hell demon, for fuck's sake. I swear, this demon slayer's got it in for me. What am I supposed to write about? thought you'd see the day when Damien would ask your advice about destruction, uh, destructive tools. But you've been prepared nonetheless. You tell him. Hmm. This is a hard one. Fuck it. Uh, damn, sarcasm seems like it's either going to be a smart or creative thing. But I'm bold. Not so bold. Either way, it doesn't matter because I'm not going out with you, Damien. I'm gonna bang the interdimensional prince. Because plot reasons in this silly character arc. This was a test and you failed! There was no assignment! There isn't even a Miss Demon Slayer at this school! I mean, there was. She is. I, I, I just don't give a shit about this assignment. The correct answer is nothing! Nothing is better than fire! Technically, more fire would have been cool, dude. But, you know, apparently it wasn't bold enough. Maybe I didn't say it with enough enthusiasm. Ah, but that was what you were trying to imply, you protest. The only thing better than fire is more fire. I'm not sure what imply means, but it sounds like a thing losers do. Kind of 
kind of like not setting things on fire. Speaking of which, I have shit to set on fire. You know what happens next is the resulting inferno, you lose points. Because, damn it. Alright! Hmm, Bibsy. Where to next? Let's see, let's see, where to. Hmm, let's go, Jim. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team, but suddenly you convince him not to throw the ball at you with the heartfelt speech about importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears, you take advantage of that moment of weakness throwing the ball at him. You lose five mercy. Shit! How will I beat Undertale now? But gain two charm. You join Miranda and Damien's team for game two. For game two, it goes differently. <laughs> Come on, shit dicks! Face the power of hell! Paint this battlefield red, Damien! Grind them all into thin red paste! You express your worry and confusion over the number of corpses in the gym. Isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary. Kill and murder. Also arson. But I'm not good at math. Honor, glory, feudalism. These are the words we will fight for. These are the words we will die for. Whoa, you didn't sign up to die. You've got to stop this before it turns into the FPS or something. it because of plot reasons. That's right, I'm the narrator, and I'm stuck. I'm sick of your shit. Uh-oh. Oh, what's this? Looks like opposing team had reinforcements the whole time. Fifteen orcs, three bears, and one hundred goblins. Yeah, I guess a hundred goblins is kind of effective. More concerned about the bears. And a dragon that's also a machine gun, somehow. Okay, yeah, they won. Yeah, it turned out that the narrator had more power than expected, huh? You should have thought about that before you fucked with me. I won't even give you the pleasure of narrating this bullshit. You wake up in detention. Your team has lost. Everyone hates you. And I'm making you lose three boldness, so this doesn't happen again. <laughs> I fucking love the dialogue. Oh, script writers. All right. I love you guys. You're fucking amazing. You're taking a break from socializing to eat your lunch when someone punches you in the knee because the face clearly wasn't available in their line of sight. They went under the table to hit my knee. It's the Slayer, and she's hiding under your table. Okay, now that makes more sense. Thank you. Sorry, narrator. I jumped the gun. Prepare to die! Eat me, pain freak! Now I'm going to punch your other... Ow! You just throw your apple at her. Finally, the use for the red delicious. The defeated slayer. You defeated the slayer. She flees, leaving two choices as pieces of loot behind. The loot flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear. Almost as if there was some kind of video game. No time to contemplate the nature of existence. Pick some loot before it's all gone. Garlic, monster's weakness is another monster's dinner. I guess that would be bold. No, that would be bold. Um, shit, up. shit! I don't know which one to pick, damn it! Ah, gun that shoots with each shit burn into it. I like that. You scoop up the sweet ass gun and go about your day. Obliviously, you're not gonna use it to kill any of your classmates. You're a monster, not a monster. But later, in biology class, the teacher calls on you without warning. You panic, because who has time uh, the time about reading when you're trying to smooch your classmates? But your panic turns in, uh, to self-assurance when you hear the teacher's question. What do flies do? Rather than responding with lame-ass spoken words, you respond by firing a wooden stake straight into the chalkboard. Eat shit, exclaims the teacher. 
Why, that's exactly right! Congratulations! Well, it's not the only thing they eat. You meant to shoot the teacher, but hey, whatever it works. For boldness. Why would I shoot the teacher? Alright! I would have really fucked up my stuff. Not cool. That day at the dodge match. That dodgeball match takes place. Dodge match. Sounds like a new terrible sport. Many people fall during battle, you can't take any more, so you valiantly go straight into the other team leader and start negotiating a truce. Diplomacy, ten righteousness, two charm. See Damien beating the piss, the piss out of a goblin like he always does when he's depressed. You go over and ask him what the dealio is. It's this whole heir to the throne of hell thing. It's really bumming me out. I hate being the prince of hell, and I'm really gonna hate being king of hell even more if this is how it's gonna be. Hmm. I mean, how am I supposed to rebel against authority when I become the fucking authority? <sighs> Not even beating the piss out of this goblin is cheering me up. Damien continues to beat the piss out of the goblin anyway, but his heart clearly is not It's so sad. I mean, is there anything rad I can do as king of hell? Like, literally anything. Forgetting about... Eh. Let's see. Huh? Oh. Um, really? I mean, that's, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I'll get laid. You have to be okay with working long hours for very little pay. You know, because sex with me is enough of a payment in itself. But I think we could negotiate a very generous benefit package. Which may or may not involve serious birth control in the form of the cross. <laughs> very generous indeed. You know what kind of package you're interested in. <laughs> <laughs> Scriptwriters! Did I mention you're amazing? Alright! <laughs> it's too good. It just is. Today, your teacher delivers an ama amazing and creative performance that blows all the minds. It ends using s sensation on YouTube. Cool. Teacher gains two coolness, but who cares? Or. What? Romance the teachers? No, they were probably turning against that. That's why they didn't allow the, the coach to be a thing. Yet. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the developers are doing. Norm Normally, Damien is totally turned out in monstrous civics class, but today he's actually seeming excited. You ask him why. <laughs> because we finally got an assignment I can get behind. Write a proposal to improve your neighborhood. My neighborhood is hell. So I'm gonna come up with a kick-ass new torture. I just need to pick an idea. Drinkable termites? No, the termite lobby will be all over us. Const constantly firing shotguns? No, the NRA still refuses to associate with a brain. Go figure, right? Repeated flailing with a dull, rusty butter knife? No, it's, it's just not brutal enough. Literally, damn! I've got plenty of good ideas, but no great ones. Help me out here. Knife soup. A kitten you can never snuggle. Dear God! What monster! Fuck, that's so cruel! We can't. We can put a kitten in a little playpen and give him a little cardboard box to play with. Little bow around his precious neck. Not too tight. And name him Ruffles and teach him to meow I love you. And then while they're staring longingly at the kitten they can never pet, I'll come behind them and hit them with a rake. Yes, it truly is the ultimate torture. I think Damien missed the point of your suggestion slightly, but whatever, he likes it. All right. Coach, what do you have on the menu today? You're hoping to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach seems to have a different idea. What's this? Eating regular food again? Hmm. Did I not teach you anything the last time? 
fruits, vegetables, meats, dairy, blood. These are all parts of a complete lunch, sure. <laughs> but you're forgetting the most important food group of all. Dietary supplements. Don't worry. Old coach never goes anywhere without some energy vitamins. I mean, emergency vitamins. Don't look at my bag. Here, take your pick. It would be rude to turn him down, and who knows, maybe he'll gain some benefits after all. Maybe be arrested by the cops later. One, one is charm. I want to be the super charming ghost. One that'll put Casper in his place, that little prick, thinking he's so cool. You swallow the entire bottle of horse supplements because it's no use committing to a bad decision halfway. Suddenly you feel your hair growing silkier, even though you're not sure you had hair to begin with. Seems something's different about you. For some reason, I want to stroke your mane and feed you sugar lumps and call you my little buttercup. I have to go now. This is getting weird. It's probably because how healthy you are, though, from all the vitamins. But still, I may need to get 50 feet away from you. And don't forget to take your vitamins. It's like I always say, when life gives you vitamins, take them no matter what the label on the bottle says. Uh, bye! You're inclined to agree. Also, some sugar lumps do sound good. Your classmates all gather around to compliment on your pretty... Such a pretty pony you've become. Everyone loves a horse or a high school student slowly turning into one. I have hooves! I better get a unicorn horn. That would've been badass. But I gained four charm. Soon I'll be more charming than the interdimensional prince. All right. He may hate me because of it. Oh no! What have I done? That day, your rehearsal in class, you play Rise and Be Inspired. But afterwards, classmates all talk to you about music, blah blah blah. You become awesome. You gain two creativity. You see Damien pacing the stage, stabbing the air with his cardboard lance. Ah! Motherfucker! I don't do things if I don't look badass doing them. This play is not an exception. I'm gonna live so motherfuckingly truthful, though. These imaginary circumstances, this script is just so, I don't know, vague? Why is the Dark Knight so evil? Where does his anger come from? Why all the murder? And yes, when it comes to plays, I want there to be a reason for murder. I just don't need one in real life. Um, you better give him a reason to not murder you just in case. The knight was dr driven evil by the death of his parents and or spouse. It's never been done. Be method, go real life killing spree. Uh... Sure, I have a feeling this is either smart or creative. What? My creativity outweighed my boldness. Oh fuck man, I never thought of that. Like, maybe he started out good. Uh, and full of hope about the world. But then a personal tragedy caused him to turn to the dark side? Holy shit, man. Mind blown. Mind fucking blown. This is good. I'm gonna turn it into a movie. As if the character is called The Dark Knight. I'm gonna call the movie The Dark Knight. Ah, oh, shit, he's gonna get sued over Batman. He does. The pitch, it focuses heavily on the part where the Dark Knight's parents are killed in front of him. Ah, oh, Batman. Apparently somebody already had done that first and sends him a strong enough word and cease and desist letter, which he passes on to you with a friendly punch in the face. Ow. I did not mean to piss you off, Damien. Alright. And again, I don't care because I'm not dating you. Let's go for that final charm. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. It's so intense, both themes, uh, teams are just into it, so you decide to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against part of the other team leader's charm. Guess what? It works out in your favor, because this is the part where you earn stats, not lose them. Later, you see Damien punching back. Damn it, where do I get to the next part where I'm a ghost? I'm 
going away for the weekend <sighs> to detention. I fucking hate detention again. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured selkie piss on whoever opened it. I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Why are they so mad? Let me spill the tea. The school is strict as fuck. <laughs> Never heard of it said that way. Anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Dude, bro. Do it. If skipping detention were as a possibility, I would have done that ages ago. I would have skipped detention before I even got detention. But you know what comes after detention? Expulsion. And if I'm expelled, how am I supposed to get into college good enough to kickstart my career of fiery threat and interdimensional safety? I mean, a fiery threat of international safety. Okay. That doesn't really click in my head right, but okay. What a noob! Fucking moron. I'll just set the teacher's shoes on fire when she's not looking. Damn it. You're so bad at detention. You should get be given detention for how bad you are at detention. Meh. That wasn't as fun sounding as it could have been. Alright! Interdimensional Prince! I come to beseech you once more. You're enjoying a quiet meal by yourself when a wound opens in the fabric of space, revealing the interdimensional prince. Greetings, my love. Greetings, hero. I have a task for which no hands are fit but yours. It's under this table. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. A portal is sealed against me, which I have not strength enough to open. Please, unzip this flag and reveal the secrets. Please help me break the seal on this jar of kosher dill pickles. Yeah, you thought I was making a dick joke. Seriously, you take the jar from him, pop off the lid, hand it back to him. Maybe he'll leave you alone now. Probably not, because making these dick jokes is hilarious. Oh, bless you, hero. Your noble deeds deserve a noble title. Yes, I will give you one free noble title redeemable now. Maybe he'll leave you alone if you accept a title. Anyway, having one would be sweet. You check his phone to see your options. Oh, you check your phone to see your options. Because why would the options be on the phone when he's giving you the title? Who knows? Foreign Minister in charge of extreme handsomeness. Most unscrupulous treasure. Minister of Handsomeness! A most appropriate title indeed. You shall be in charge of exporting handsomeness from my dimension into yours. The way you do so is under the table. Also, I've slowly taken my shirt off. Like what you see? Here, have a month's supply of handsomeness just to get you started. And later, meet me behind the school under the bleachers. There's a... They, yeah, you're a bit offended that the prince thinks you need him to supply you with handsomeness. I mean, you have 20 charm. But this is really good shit. Your eyes twinkle with youthful vitality. Your teeth cause lens flare when you smile. People generally are upset because, damn, you're so fine. Everyone in the cafeteria is stunned at your sudden beauty. Maybe you won't bother exporting any of this handsomeness after all. Last day. Can I be a spooky ghosty goo now? All right. Cause ghosty goo needs the ghost to gooness. I day you skip class, attending to spend time in the bathroom. But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Very weird ass bathroom. Who the fuck runs security here? Not the werebear janitor. Anyway, you subdued them with the help of a hair comb. God bless monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. Also, what is that hangman word? Anyone has a guess to what that could be? I don't know. By the time by the yeah, by the time you get to the bathrooms, you're totally getting too boldness. Because reasons. Uh, you could start doing something productive. 
or you can put on your blanket and end up getting some cool ghost shenanigans. Or you can go to shenanigans. Awesome. You're looking for someone, but you run into the person that might finally see through your ghostly deception. Apart from boring Liam. Hiya! Hey! Wait. What's this? Another ghost? No. It can't, I can't believe this. Finally, someone else notices. This is clearly just Lynn wearing a... I can't believe it is because it's just too cool to be true. Oh, come on. It's not cool nor true. So, uh, again, raise my, subs no, my subscriber count. Because this script is bold. Shh, Liam. I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over all your, like, shit jealousy. So tell me, how did you die? We have to share so much ghost gossip, or gossip, as I like to call it. Hmm, good question. Time to prove a lie with another bigger lie. Offered as a sacrifice to the god of party. I'll only tell how I died on the third date. Boo, ghost week. Fuck yeah. Whoa, so enticing. I mean, to me, third day is always the hardcore stuff. Uh, Shibri, I'm not actually sure how to say that. Fucking word, highly dangerous sex toys, or meeting the parents. So what? So that means you died in some awesome and stupid fashion. Probably something involving sharks or bath salts. Don't do bath salts, kid. Very bad. Or none of that, since he is just Lynn wearing a blanket. And I promised a thousand subscribers on all my accounts. Right, guys? Okay, just double checking. For God's sake, Liam, why don't you wear a blanket somewhere else? Come on, ghost friend. Let's go do something ghostly like pet some llamas. That's definitely not a ghost thing. It is if you're a ghost. Duh. And then you spend a great ghost evening petting some silly llamas. You gain two fun and one charm and spit in Liam's face. Not for real, because it gets in the sheet. Now, who will I take to prom? No one! Sure thing. None of them. All right. You don't ask anyone to prom because you're too cool. Because you're a strong, independent ghost who need no date to prom. Minus the ghost part, you're not actually a ghost sometimes. After so many shenanigans, you just forgot. So yeah, you really attended prom wearing a blanket. But people thought you were awesome. Fuck normal dress code! Meeting! Best at being alone. Ah, uh, so much more shit to do. But I will do this, dammit. I will get shit done. Alright. Uh, I think that leaves me with three more dude endings left after this. One of them being that cool little blob dude in the center there. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we are and who we could be. And you know what? It was... It always does. As it always does, life happens, and it was wonderful. Timmy became a renowned drag racer until he died in the most badass way uh, during a race. At the funeral, you spotted him hidden amongst the crowd. He winked at you. After some years, the prince's dimension became a democracy, mostly due to the public discontent that the royalty spends most of its time in another dimension. Despite that, the prince keeps on annoying high schoolers still wrong in so many ways. Liam kept doing art so hard that he eventually evaporated and became the concept of coolness itself. And he finally got a million subscribers all his apps. 
While leaving the physical plane, the last thing Liam da did was give everyone a condescending look. Because he knew he was so much better than everyone else. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in the war called Youth. But once again, we were young and afraid, and we were ready to start. Images in the gallery. No, we won't be looking at that. Not quite yet. I don't want to spoil anything until we've played through all the little dates. So yeah, the next one. Is... The next one we're gonna do is go for probably the computer, the blob, or the other standalone ending. You don't go with anybody. I think that's the dragon fan fiction one. And I think that would cover it for all the guys. And then we will move on to the fairer sen uh, the fair gender. I was gonna say sex if put gender came out in the same way and I could find the words in the center. Made no damn sense. Either way, that's the plan for next time. So I like to thank you all for watching. Leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, comment, do anything your heart desires because I'm not forcing you to do a damn thing. Because that would be wrong. Like the interdimensional prince. But, yeah, if you do any of that stuff, that would be really cool. And I hope you have a good day or night depending on when you see this. Or if you do something cool. But, I will see you all in the next video. So, but until then, Stay awesome, all you wonderful lovelies. Bye bye.